Hey guys, we're taking a look at my Obelisk the Tormentor deck today, and I'm going to go through the cards. Obviously an Obelisk deck is really just about uh, summoning monsters very quickly so you can summon Obelisk. So first off, we got Battle Fader, great for this deck. Um, your opponent's going to be getting indirect attacks because your this is a very defensive deck at the start, so this will allow you to special summon and uh, negate their attack. Uh, Shadow Monarch. It's nice to have some good single tributes in case you can't get out Obelisk. So this is one of them. Um, Dupe Frog. You're going to see a lot of frogs in this deck because it drives the special summon power of this deck. Um, Dupe Frog's really good. 2,000 defense and you can get another frog monster. Gore is very nice because, again, if your opponent gets in direct damage, you'll be able to summon him. Jinzo, shutting down uh, all your opponent's traps. Another good single tribute to have. Uh, it's really nice for to, for you to shut down their traps so they don't destroy your monsters. Light and Darkness Dragon. Again, if you can't get out three tributes, you can use this guy with only two, and it'll shut down your opponent from doing anything while you get out more monsters. An Obelisk. Obviously extremely powerful once you get him out. Um, pretty much anti-anything that will destroy him. He's almost invincible. Poison Draw Frog. Uh, doesn't look that good, but once you pair it up with Sea Lancer over here, it can be quite useful. Uh, again, frogs are the main power of this deck. Uh, Storm Monarch, again, a uh, nice effect and also a single tribute that you can use. Ron and Toten, uh one of the true powers behind the special summon in this deck. Um, his effect allows you to special summon frogs. Sea Lancer, a uh, very nice effect because you'll be banishing these frogs and once you equip them to Sea Lancer, he'll be powerful, and then when they get destroyed, you'll be able to draw more cards. It's just a process that allows you to keep getting monsters and cards. Swap Frog, also very powerful for this deck because you could easily special summon this guy in your in this deck. Tribone Frog, um, you're not going to have a lot of spells and traps out, so you'll be able to special summon him pretty often. And then uh, the magic cards are really all based on. Um, you know, allowing you to summon obelisk and allowing you to do stuff with your frogs. So creature swap, allowing you to give your opponent your weak monsters and uh, having an attack force for a little bit. Uh, dark hole staple. My body as a shield. Obviously you want to keep your monsters as often as possible, so paying 1500 life points isn't that bad if you're going to be able to summon obelisk. Soul exchange. Obviously very important in this deck. Attacking right away is not what's most important. What's most important is getting obelisk out. So soul exchange. Very good. Salvage, obviously, with all these frogs, you'll want to keep getting them back. And then Dark Bribe and Call of the Haunted. Just a couple stable traps. Again, not focused much on traps in this deck. Uh, as far as the extra deck goes, uh, really you're just going to want some 2-star XYZs and some maybe 6-star XYZs. 6-stars you won't get out very often. The 2-stars uh, is really like an alternative strategy that you can use with all these frogs that you have out if you're not able to summon as much as you need to. But uh, that's my Obelisk deck. If you have your own Obelisk deck, I'd love to see what cards you use, uh, how you get them out, how you you know bring out monsters, what cards you use, and that. Um, if you want to see more from me, you can subscribe or hit the like button. You can also follow me on Twitter, um, and you'll get updated when I upload a new video. But that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.